You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> Lunchtime. Something you guys should know about me is that grilled cheese is uh, a go-to lunch for me multiple days a week. I don't know if I should be proud of that or really embarrassed by it, but either way, <laughs> here's what you gotta do. You got your bread. This is weird lighting. There we go. You got your cheese. Today I've got Havarti. It's the last slice because I've eaten a lot of grilled cheeses this week. So. You got your two pieces of bread, you got your cheese. You put your cheese on the breads, okay? You've got your spice drawer here. Oh gosh, I locked that really tight. Spice drawer. I'm gonna be using parsley flakes and garlic powder. I don't really add a whole ton of stuff, but that's what we're gonna do here. Found this is the best way to get the parsley flakes to actually fall out of those holes, otherwise it's a pain in the butt. Boom, parsley. Ow. I love garlic. If you don't, I am weary of you. To end it, a little pinch of salt. Up, up, up. Moving on. Pan. Turn on that stove there. I put the butter in the pan, not on the bread. Ow, because if you put it on the bread, then it gets burnt and it doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna wait for that to melt real quick. We're back and it's melted. Now we just plop that guy right in there and here's the kick up. Why do I always default to a weird Boston crappy accent? I don't know. It's really addictive, but I need to stop. I do this. I don't have like a panini press thing. So it just puts pressure on it and it keeps some of the heat in there while still letting some escape so it melts the cheese faster so you don't burn your bread, but you melt your cheese. <sighs> okay, it's time to flip, which means more butter. You are gonna grab your sandwich. Do one of these. You're gonna use your dominant hand instead of using your not dominant hand. You're gonna make it all bubbly. Mm -hmm. I'm really embarrassed that I just realized I'm doing that on camera. Can't take it back though. Boom, beautiful. Cover it again and wait. Wait. Okay, for anybody who cuts their sandwiches like this, I don't trust you. This is the best way for eating and dipping. I wish I had tomato soup, but I don't. So I'm just gonna be a crazy girl and have it Look, oh, <laughs> cheesy goodness. <laughs> All right, let's talk. Wow, Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, Michael Mantis is gonna be coming over in a little bit so that we can have a chat. I think we both just got to the point where we don't like giving into like drama or scenarios that people are coming up with, but we just wanted to set the record straight so that we can move on. After posting this video, like I'm not gonna be commenting on things having to do with this any longer. It's a waste of my time. I don't like drama. I don't know. I just don't like putting my time into things like that because it's completely unnecessary. <clears throat> you guys are heavily involved in my life and in my channel. So I feel that it's right to address it because obviously a lot of you guys are concerned um, about why I fired Michael. Uh, let's get into it, I guess. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> so Michael and I both um, are pretty tired of random narratives. Yeah, you all know? the speculations yeah. that are out there. Yeah, and like we signed up to like be in the eye of the public. Oh yeah, for so sure. So that's our fault. Mm -hmm. But like at the same time, like sometimes things just aren't anybody's business but our own. Yeah. But in this instance, like, I don't know. I just like, I'm tired of people like speculating or like guessing mm -hmm. what happened or like, writing these full comments of like, this is what happened when they have no idea. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. So we're here to clear that. Clear the air. Up. Yeah. Yeah. So just so you guys know, <clears throat> we're not friends anymore. Yeah, we actually- <laughs> Just starts a bigger rumor. <laughs> No, in all honesty, we're totally fine. <laughs> like, 
We've been hanging out for at least a good, like a good month now. I definitely took a break from the entire world. I yeah. just like dipped out, needed some self care time to work on myself. I wish we're, we're fine, guys. We're fine. We're legit. Itchy. It's just like the situation that happened. Like it was a shock, obviously for both of us, mm -hmm. and it was also like a learning curve that we had no time to learn. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was a lot. The cards were just kind of like drawn for us. Like we just yeah. bought them. We're like, okay, this is what we have to work with. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? Yeah. Meanwhile, I have like my own goals that I like to achieve with other like personal projects. So with Kat and I, we were trying to figure out like how do we mend those two to where we can both get what we need out of the work that we're doing. Because making videos is hard. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. It's a lot. It sometimes can be as easy as like, yeah, you pick up a camera and you just go and film. But then some videos do take more brain power and yeah. just like it's strategy and thinking. The content that we were making together, it was right. more like thought out, planned ideas with like- It was calculated for sure. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. To explain the whole situation of like, because people literally ask like, this is such a harsh word, but like, why'd you fire Michael and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, um, I guess I'll talk to you guys about it. <laughs> First off, it was probably the like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my entire life. He can even vouch for me. Like my voice on the phone, I was like, um. I was like, you good? <laughs> <laughs> that was like the first like business thing that I had to do where I was like, this sucks. Yeah. This really sucks. I just got to a point where like Michael was helping me with like thumbnails and stuff like that and uploads and all that kind of stuff. But it just like, it quickly came to my attention that I was having a hard time like uh, coming up with the video ideas, filming those ideas, but also editing all the videos. Yeah. It was a lot. And like, I quickly realized like, I don't think this is gonna go well mm. with me having to edit all these videos on top of doing this stuff. So I presented him with the idea of like editing. And at that time, like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you just couldn't take on at that time. And mm. at that time for me, I couldn't take it on anymore, so I had to make, unfortunately, a really freaking hard decision to let Michael go and find an editor. You were both, like, thrown to this new environment together, so you're trying to figure it out together as you're going, but then trying to figure out, like, more long-term goals at the same time. Okay, like, how do I sustain uh, this to get yeah. to that? And then because you're in the same boat as your friend, you're also trying to help each other out. I just have to be honest and tell her like, I can't do, I can't help edit with for you because then it'll take away to what I'm trying to achieve like on the side of what I'm trying to do. I mean, we still film together obviously now, yeah, even doing no more. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, sometimes things just don't pan out the way when you first map things out. Like yeah. things are gonna change. We were close enough friends to just be able to like- Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah. And, and like clear the air if there's any negative feelings whatsoever. Like yeah. we cleared the air. I, I don't know. I think both of us were just mature adults in that situation yeah and, I was like, and we were okay with it like yeah like i get it like i knew like you need more manpower no i can't give you that manpower yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean like and i didn't want to like put you <laughs> in a position where you had to because i also yeah. was like i know you're trying to do your own thing and that's mm -hmm. important because yeah. like, my channel was not end game for michael by any yeah you know, from the beginning yeah, yeah exactly. exactly i know it's hard for you guys to not try and like guess what's going on in all this stuff but just mm -hmm. recognize that like everybody that i've worked with or work with like i'm cool with mm -hmm. um there's no negative feelings we're all grown adults yeah if there is any negative feelings we're all mature enough to just sit down and have a conversation about it like right. i know you see like a lot of drama and stuff on youtube but this is just not where drama lives there's no drama yeah <laughs> like it was like the furthest thing from yeah. any part of this friend group is everyone's just like uh yeah. like. everybody in this friend group and like <laughs> Even at high five, like you just like, you just talk about things. It's not this crazy thing that you guys think it is. It really isn't. Yeah. So. And to those of you guys who like, just were genuinely asking out of concern, like, yeah, good point. cause you just like want to know how we are doing. Thank you. That is like really kind. But yeah, just to piggyback off like what Kat's saying, it can become a lot when it's like in your entire comment section or it's like, in, and then it goes beyond that where then it's like in DMs on Instagram or even yeah. Twitter where then oh, yeah. you're like constantly seeing it. Like I'm still trying to piece it together. I'll let you guys know yeah. when the time's right. So yeah, those of you who asked, thank you. Those of you who are creating some crazy narratives, Calm let's down. let's take a breather, you know? Down. Something just don't need to be on camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're still people where we have like lives outside of, we show you as much as we can. It's like when you have friends, right? And then you're like, I'm gonna go sleep over at Johnny's house. <laughs> and then you tell your parents like, oh yeah, I'm going to Johnny's. But Johnny tells his parents he's going to your house. And like, you hate some things from your parents. You just like kind of didn't tell them yet. Yeah. It's like this. Like, yeah. 
You guys are sometimes the parents and you guys don't even know everything that's happening exactly. behind the scenes. It's just like, we're just people living life just as you guys are. And yeah. when it's right, we'll share. I think to you guys, because you only see us through a screen, we have this like presence as if we're like something other than humans. Yeah. <laughs> in a way. And like, the thing is, is like, we're literally just chilling in a couple of chairs in the bedroom <laughs> talking to the camera right now. Nothing yeah. fishy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God, are we done? Yeah, I know. She's like, Gosh. <laughs> look at us. Hey, look at us. Me and friends. We're just chilling. Who would have thought? Not me. Um, thanks for checking in. Um, thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be seeing him around. We hang out, so. Yeah. He can't avoid me. Yeah. Or the camera sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Stay safe, kids, and stay um, safe. Stay cool. Stay tuned. Stay cool. Boom. Stay safe, stay cool, stay tuned. Is that a new outro? <laughs> I think I so! Think so. <laughs>